Hello, I'm Theodore Parker, and this is the Sideshow. And this is Friday, January 28th, 2022. 30 degrees, feels like 25, high of 33, but since I put my feet on the floor and sat down to talk to you and broadcast, we have snow. So that's my first item. Projecting Nor'easter over the weekend. And this is the last weekend in January. By this time next week, we will be into February, the second month of 2022. This winter storm is going to be forming off the coast of Georgia, coming inland and heading up the east coast to the New England states. In various areas, there will be an accumulation of snow up to 10 inches and possibly in some areas reaching 24 inches. So, caution in your travels. Bundle up. If you don't have to go out, stay in. Vanessa Bryan is suing the state of California. The state of California has decided to put a statue of Kobe and Gianna at the site of the crash. The NBA All-Star team has been selected. The team is scheduled to play on February 20th next month. And January 26th, a couple of days ago, marks two years since Kobe and Gianna and other members of the team were killed. Top news items. We don't want war. Russia sends last, less hawkish message on Ukraine. Moscow on Friday since its strongest signal so far, it is willing to engage with U.S. security proposals and reiterates that it does not want war amid rising tensions over Ukraine. As I mentioned, tens of millions under winter storm watches ahead of weekend nor'easter. The governor of Virginia declared a state of emergency and either and others were urging precautions as the region prepares for a weekend winter storm. Forecasters in New York. For New York City stressed that things could change but said Thursday night that confidence is increasing that the city could receive around 10 inches of snow. Biden's unusual journey to champion black women. 30 years after overseeing the controversial Supreme Court confirmation hearings for Clarence Thomas, President Biden is being credited for promoting black women. Since taking office, Biden has nominated 16 people to federal appeals courts. Eight of his appointees have been black women, as many as all previous presidents combined. COVID-19 and its variants, booster drive slows with 85% eligible Americans without an extra shot. New companies are stepping forward to announce that they're in stage two of clinical trials with vaccines related to COVID-19 and its variants. Next one is a little heartwarming piece for all those animal lovers out there, cat lovers in particular. 
Jill Biden welcomes adorable cat to the White House. The First Lady on Friday shared photographs of the latest addition to the presidential household. Short-haired two-year-old tabby cat named Willow. Also in New York, NYC gives final salute to slain NYPD officer. Morning New York police officers will give a final salute Friday to Jason Rivera, a rookie colleague gunned down with his partner a week ago. Don't forget, press the like button. That's it. Hashtag.